I think the only reason why I became better at staying focused was because for two years, I started to realize that I really never accomplished anything. Especially because last year I took a break from working and for the entire six months that I was out of work and I was like trying to start my own business and I was like doing all these different things I was realizing six months later that I really never either stuck to anything or I really never stayed focused on anything and I think this year I was more focused on being productive with my time rather than just like doing busy work that correlated nothing to what I was trying to do or just correlated very little to what I was trying to do. So in this video, if you're someone who has a hard time staying focused and is easily distracted, in today's video, we're gonna go over three ways on how to reduce distractions so you can stay focused and get more done. The first thing is to have a clear focus or goal for the day. I'm gonna separate this into two different frames, one for work-wise and then one for business-wise. So for work-wise, I think one thing that I got frustrated on at my job was the fact that I felt like I was starting the task that I needed to start so late in the day and then it pushed me back on leaving on time. And I remember that one day I was just getting annoyed with it and then I just organized my day to where I separated what I was allocating time to and then had a goal of when to start the actual work that I needed to get started so that way I could finish my day on time or close to it. So one thing to do is organize your day into what is a priority to focus on, what is something that you could start but then finish at the end of the day, and what is the things that you really need to get done first. And I think that's really helpful because when we group everything in one and then we go to one thing and then go to another thing and it's like we're just like putting out fires, then at the end of the day we realize that there was two other important tasks that we needed to get, get done that we never ended up touching. So now we end up spending more time working on those when in actuality the thing that we were working on earlier we could have saved for the end of the day or possibly to the next day. So one thing to do is organize what is your clear focus for the day of what is the actual task that you need to get done. So that way that could be your main priority and anything after where it's like something that's mainly not a priority but you still want to get done can get done towards the end of the day. And when it comes to business, one thing that I do now is focus on action forward tasks. A lot of times when I was first like working on creating a business or working on creating my own projects, I spent a lot more time doing research than actually progressing or doing anything. Or I would take like a lot of courses and take notes, but I wasn't actually producing anything. So one thing that I started doing now is if I'm taking a course on something or if I'm learning something new, I try to implement that immediately. So one thing that I started doing was taking a writing course and instead of waiting until I was completely done with the full writing course, I would take a certain part of the writing course and focus on that and then implement that immediately into what I was working on when I had my blog. Another thing that I was doing is if I was working on a course that I purchased on social media or anything like that, I would find ways to implement that immediately so that way I could see what the results are from actually implementing what I'm learning. So if you're someone who tends to overlearn and overthink things, instead of trying to gather all the information, Focus on implementing little bits of information because the thing is, whatever you learned in the beginning, if you wait until you learn everything to then implement, you're not going to remember what you learned in the beginning. Like you're really not. And then you're going to have to go back and then listen to it again. And then it's going to be overwhelming because then you're going to forget what you learned at the end. And then now you're repeating the same damn cycle. So one thing to do instead is to just take smaller pieces of whatever you're working on and learning and then implement that immediately into tasks that could produce some type of data or you could get some type of response from it. The second thing to do to reduce distraction is to turn your phone face down. I think we underestimate how powerful our phones are to us and we underestimate 
how much time we're spending on it. We think that we're just scrolling for five minutes or answering a quick text and then putting it away and then going back to work. One thing that I found with me is that if my phone is based up and then if I get some type of notification, even if I turn off most of the notifications and then there's still a couple that's on, I'll tend to pick up my phone, look at that, then I look at something else, then I'm going to something else. And then what I thought was possibly like 10 minutes ended up to be 20, 25 minutes. So one thing that I've learned to do now is if I'm focusing on a specific task if I'm doing something I'll simply turn my phone over or I'll have some type of instrumental music in the background so it's not pure silence and then I work on that task so if you're someone who has your phone near you or even just your work phone have it face down until for a certain amount of time and then take a look at it if you need to answer anything that you need to and then turn it back over I did some research because I've heard this before and it was saying that it takes 23 minutes to refocus back on what you were focused on. And that 23 minutes could have been allocated to something else that you're doing is now delayed in you regaining your focus on what you're doing rather than just having that flow of working through those 23 minutes and then checking at the end of the time that you allotted of having your phone away. So if you're someone who is easily distracted by your phone and has like social media apps and gets a lot of text messages, one thing to really do is put your phone either on silent and face down. And if you're someone who has to answer your phone, have it on vibrate and have it face down so that way you could focus that time on what you're doing and you don't have to worry about getting distracted, you don't have to worry about getting refocused, you don't have to worry about figuring out where the hell you left off and then now figure out like, how do I restart back up going into your own flow? And another thing that I also actually do is reduce the amount of tabs on my computer. I used to have so many fucking tabs open. I didn't think it was a problem until I realized that I had like four different types of screens, independent Mac screens, and then I had like multiple tabs open and it had me going to one tab to another and then I constantly got flustered on where everything was. So one thing that I also started doing was reducing the amount of tabs that I have open because I know whatever tab is open is the tabs that I need to use at that time and anything else will probably just distract me into something else and then take my focus off of what I'm doing. And the last thing is to use the Pomodoro technique. So this could be different for everyone. I've seen it to where it's like 60 minutes of straight focus work and in a five minute break. What I tend to do is do a 90 minutes of straight focus work and then a 10 to 20 minute break. I have found this extremely helpful because I'm the type to where after a while I'll burn out and then it'll take me a harder time to get back into a rhythm and back into a flow. But I've realized when I've done this and I've been doing this for about two months now, I found that it's very easy for me to stay focused and easy for me to continue working Working because I know that there is an end time. I know that for 90 minutes I'm going to do straight work and I'm going to focus strictly on what I'm doing and then eventually I have a 10 to 15 or 20 minute break to then just like relax. So find whatever time works for you and works for your schedule and really start to use that because I think that when we constantly think that we just need to go like five hours of straight work and then lunch, it's not really giving ourselves that that break that we need. And I think honestly looking at screens, especially if you're someone who has two screens, it could become very draining on the eyes. And I know for me, like if I'm looking at a screen too much and especially for an extended period of time, it tends to hurt my head, it tends to hurt my eyes. So I found that this technique has been extremely helpful in me just staying focused and then staying in flow of whatever I'm doing. And it's also increased my time management tremendously because not only can you use the Pomodoro technique of being able to use a certain amount of time of focus work, but you're now organizing your time of what do I focus on at this specific time? What am I focusing on within this 90 minutes and however much you break it up in between. So I found that those three has been really helpful in 
increasing my own productivity both in my personal and in my work life definitely let me know which one you tend to do or which one you've tried and how has it been beneficial or if it's been a struggle so i hope those techniques are helpful for you they've definitely been helpful in my end especially because i'm the type that has really struggled with time management and i found that just doing these three simple things has really helped me stay focused and really has helped me move further along than what I have been in the past. So definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.